Hey guys, Entas here, and today I wanted to showcase my storm, and uh, you know, before I begin, I wanted to explain something. Up in the top right corner there, it says that I am an epic storm. That number doesn't really mean anything. If I wanted, uh, I could switch out some of my weapons, I could make myself uh, masterwork or whatever you want to call it, um, but this isn't actually going to be a big upgrade to my javelin. This isn't going to help me, uh, you know, whatsoever, actually. And so, um, I, I don't, I don't equip the best things just because they're the best things or the highest, uh, level. I go for stats. And so, um, you know, one of the reasons I'm not masterwork is because I'm using a level 36 special arms ammo that is giving me ultimate damage, RB damage, and 30% additional ammo and damage for my heavy pistol. That is a, an active choice of mine because it just is the best option for my damage, uh, hands down, there's just there's no getting around it. Even with some of these masterwork components, they're not as good. So uh, don't worry too much about those those levels on the on the side. That is a, a kind of a baseline to help you understand what um, you know what your average level is and and if you're any good. But I keep that number low because I have better options. So let's get into it. Uh, let's start with. Abilities. This is going to be my main abilities that I use and why I use them. Um, I've already went over why I think Ice Storm is an, is an amazing ability in another video, but uh, this is my Ice Storm. So ammo has a higher drop rate, combo plus 50% targets. I think that's it spreads further. Uh, weapon plus 15% ammo, and then elemental plus 18 damage. Now this is for any elemental damage. That's a pretty good thing to have. Uh, to buff my other ability, but I would say that this roll is not amazing. An amazing roll would be uh, something that has gear plus 100% charges. Until I get that, I won't be satisfied, but I'm still saving up materials to be able to craft this. What am I at right now? I think I'm at like, yeah, I've got 17, so I need a lot more, a lot more Masterwork Embers so I can spam a bunch of these and craft them, but uh, I just need more Masterworks to drop so I can dismantle them. So Winter's Wrath is going to be my main ability, and then my other one is 10,000 Suns. Same thing goes, I want to get plus 100% gear charges or more on this, as well as elemental damage. Unfortunately, my 10,000 Suns isn't amazing, but it does have heavy pistol damage plus 15%. Currently, I'm a weapon build more than an ability build, so I actually don't care that much because I don't actually use my abilities that much compared to other storms. I am almost all... Um, weapon damage and focus on weapon damage so when I get a better roll when I get a god tier legendary thousand suns I'll probably use this ability more because it is an amazing ability I just can't really focus on it right now because it it just my gun is too good <laughs> my gun is too good and so I actually have another build I'm going to show you because it amps my weapon even more and it's been pretty effective and I actually just got it uh, the other day so We'll talk about that in a minute. As for weapons, I've got an Avenging Herald because it's probably the best weapon in the game. It is absolutely the best weapon on the Storm, and it would be very hard to convince me otherwise. I have a very solid roll on it. Um, it's got 125% additional damage as well as plus 45% shield. This could be a much better roll. I could have uh, clip size. Like, Let me just show you here quick. I've got uh, an Avenging Herald here with... Uh, weapon plus 25% mag size. Actually, I might have a different one. No, that's the one. This thing gets like 13 ammo. So it's like really good. Instead of having 9 ammo, it's 13 ammo. And so if I could get that and weapon damage to roll and critical damage, it would be amazing. But uh, for right now, I have to stick with the 125% weapon damage. And that hits hard enough. Um, I'll keep rolling these until I get the god roll. But for right now, I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, overall. Now, my next weapon, I never use, I never touch, uh, is actually Close Encounter. Now, the reason why is because uh, if I desperately want to, I can have this weapon out, I can dash, and I can get 75% additional damage for 10 seconds. Um, I think that applies to my other weapons, so I can dash with this quickly and then jump on with my Avenging Herald. But typically, I don't even do that. The reason I'm using this one is because of the support stats on it. It's got speed from my RB ability, my LB ability, as well as some luck on it in case that actually works and gives you more Masterworks. But uh, with the amount of Masterworks I've got, I think it does uh, end up working. 
So Close Encounter is literally a stat stick. This is just buffing my character, and um, it's not uh, it's not going to be used to kill many uh, enemies in game. As for components, I've got Token of the Pupil. Uh, some of these masterworks, I have them equipped just because they're masterworks and they give me more HP, but they don't bring a, a whole bunch to the table for my build because I don't use abilities that much right now. But Token of the Pupil increases the combo chain by two. I think that's how far it can spread. I don't know yet. I need to test that. Uh, and the, the roll on this isn't amazing, but hitting an enemy with LB increases RB damage by 60%. That's good because my RB is typically a combo and uh, and that's a good pickup to have. But with my other build, I actually changed this one out from Token of the Pupil to uh, not Mark of Ruin. Where is it? Token of Daring. A shield break increases seal damage. No, 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 that's not the one. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. Maybe it's Mark of Ruin. Anyways, this one in my other build doesn't really do much, so... Uh, yeah, I, I don't really worry about this one. Amulet of Winter. This one, applying ice effects, increases weapon damage by 40% for 20 seconds. Again, not the best roll on it, but the passive on it is fantastic, and it's a legendary, so it's giving me a ton of HP. Uh, that's the main reason that I have this equipped. Uh, Mark of Clarity. Clearing a status res uh, restores 20% armor. Can occur once every 10 seconds. This also increases my elemental resistance by 35%. Um, this is a very defensive thing. So if I end up getting set on fire, when that fire goes away, it instantly gives me 20% of my health back, and that can save your hide in a lot of situations. Um, if an enforcer sets you on fire, if you get poisoned by one of those spiders, this is a good way to uh, get a little bit of health back, and then hopefully your shield recharges and you're back in the game. Now, Gunslinger's Mark is broken because they... Uh, there was a glitch where it just kept activating and you could do like 200% damage for a bullet. But this was hovering increases all weak point damage by 50%. Or sorry, by 60%. Uh, so this was a huge buff. And also the other big thing is increases gear recharge rate by 50% and lowers gear damage by 20%. So because I'm not really using abilities, I don't mind using this because I am using my gun most of the time. Having Ice Storm up and available to freeze stuff is much more important than my burning orb doing damage. So I love this because my ice storm is almost always up. Vanguard token, when a shield break, uh, a shield break increases damage resistance by 10% for 20 seconds. So this is actually good because um, I have quite a bit of health, right? The green bar health. And so when my shield breaks, I get tankier. And it's actually, I know it says 10%, but there are some times where I tank things I probably shouldn't have. And so I think that Vanguard token is actually pretty good. It also gives me a bump to my armor or my HP. And so when you mix the two of them, that actually makes me pretty tanky uh, compared to other storms. And then special arm ammo is giving me some ultimate damage, some RB damage, and then uh, the 30% boost to my Avenging Herald, which is just fantastic. It also busts my other one, but that gun is just shit in comparison. <laughs> so those are my, um, my components. This is kind of uh, standard or typical. There's not very many great choices. Uh, for example, like I could switch out to this guy here. Tome of Precision. Sniper Rifle, weak point kills, increases uh, electrical damage by 60% for 5 seconds. I could probably work that into a build, but that is extremely, extremely niche. And uh, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Um, you know, I, there, there's other options, but I just don't see it really happening uh, this seems like the best setup possible because it's a mixture of damage and tankiness. Uh, I guess I could optimize things if I plan on doing abilities. I'd probably get rid of special arms ammo and I would, uh, I would get something that gives me elemental damage because there's one that gives me 35% uh, elemental damage or 50% elemental damage. So, um, yeah. As for my, um, my other build... It's pretty simple. It's it's nothing too crazy. It's just, um, it's just like a slight optimization on my weapon build, but nothing else really changes here. So let me just show you uh, what's going on here. Am I missing a component? Yes, I am. Uh, I got some components before I equipped this. I haven't been using this build recently, so um, I don't even know what I don't have equipped. 
Did that guy? Oh, there we go. There we go. Now it's now it's set up identical. But the change is actually um, on my focus seal. I have chaotic rhyme. So this boosts my physical damage by 18%. So I'm hitting 18% harder with my weapon. Uh, I can also freeze enemies with this. And, you know, it, it's a pretty good option. It's not amazing, but, um, you know, Ice Storm is better for freezing, but this is still pretty good if I need to freeze a target and, uh, and lay into it with some headshots. This is good for freezing enforcers and turrets and stuff. So, um, you know, typically the smaller enemies, I just shoot them at this point because I do so much damage. Uh, and this is just for the bigger targets to freeze them. But the big one is uh, is my Blast Seal. So I've got a Legendary Venomous Blaze with plus 25% weapon damage and then plus 17% uh, weapon ammo. And so uh, this thing isn't, like, the best. It's not, like, god tier. But having more ammo in reserve as well as that additional damage is a pretty nice boost. When you boost the... I'm getting an 18% boost from the one ability and then a 25% boost from this one. And because I hit a target, when I hit a target three times with this, it gives it the acid debuff, which further reduces its, um, its resistances. So I do hit harder with this. So if I can proc this on a bigger enemy, a legendary uh, Ursix, a legendary Scar Enforcer, if I could put this on a boss, that just buffs everyone's damage. It buffs my damage, and then I, I hit even harder. So mixing the ice and the venom is kind of a, or the acid is a nice, it's kind of a nice combo. Because on the bigger enemies, those legendary, um, you know, legendary storms or legendary lancers or whatever it is, I can I can huck the freeze on them and the acid. I've got two awesome debuffs on that enemy, and I just lay into it with my weapon. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's all I really wanted to show you. Um, it, some people were asking me about my appearance and my colors and my paint job, so I'm going to show you that very quickly. Um, as for my paint and everything, so the primary is rubber worn and I've got just black. Um, I wish I could make it more like a, a darker color, like my chest piece. And I might be able to, to make this a little shinier or darker. Like if I go like that, I think that's probably better. So that's like, let's go, let's go clean metal. I like that better than the rubber. Oh yeah, clean metal is better. So I've got, um, I don't know why it says rubber still. It's clean metal, clean metal black. I've got hardened plastic for my secondary, and you can change this to whatever color you want, right? I like red, um, yellow's kind of cool. I like the green, honestly. The green's pretty cool. But I think black plus these colors equals win. Um, I've got wrinkled cloth for the cloak. The reason why is because um, if you get into some of the other, oh no, wait, am I? Well, that's for the arm piece. Oh no, this one, here. I've got this soft one, um, the, the wrinkled cloth for the cloak. Because if you go into these other ones, it gets really shiny and ugly, in my opinion. I think it looks really tacky, or you get really metallic. So I go with the wrinkled cloth for um, for my cape, because it just it just makes more sense. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, this is just the this is just like the little tiny pieces on the inside. You can't even see it change. See, so this one doesn't really matter. And then for the hands, I did metal. I'll show you why. When you uh, when you look at it. It gives it just like um like a little bit of shine on, on little on just like little pieces. So you can go white and it's more of like a matte finish. But I like it because in the metal it gives it like little pieces of shine. It might not match as good, but I like it better than kind of the colored matte finish. Right? That that, that makes it all white in there. I like it because it, it keeps the aesthetic, it keeps that black color, but it's now it's like shiny. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Shiny. So those are my ones. So I've got metal, clean metallic, wrinkled cloth, wrinkled cloth, hardened plastic, clean metallic, and then I just switch out the secondary and the quaternary uh, to a color. Right? You can go, you can go red. You can go like double red. You can go double green. Like let's just switch this to green here. Looks pretty awesome when you do this. Right? Like that's that is clean. That is clean. Anyways, guys, I've wasted enough of your time. That's my storm. Those are some of my, my customization options. That is my build. And uh, if you guys have an amazing build you'd like to try, share it in the comments. Maybe you'll have a better build than I do, and uh, I'd love to hear it. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon, my friends. Okay? <laughs> I'll, see you, I'll see you so soon, probably later today. Okay, bye.